save by Sandro that really bailed out his defense. Utah State with a centering pass, comes back across. There's another goal! Utah State, four to one. Number 21, Jordan Kerr scores the goal for Utah State. At the 9.32 mark. Take a look at the replay here. This is a great pass. An even better shot. Boy, and that's how you play hockey. You get a little misdirection going, get the goalie looking the wrong way, and a nice pass back across, and he can't recover. Jordan Kerr gets the goal, like we said. And Hepburn gets the assist. That's one goal and one assist for Hepburn on the night. Colorado fighting desperately to get back in this game momentum-wise. Utah State loves to take the air out of the sails of the visiting team here in the Eccles Ice Center. Nice wraparound goal, but just can't squeeze it by the pads of Sandro. Another save for Sandro. And slow roller. McDonald has the puck number 89. He shoots it up into the Colorado end of the ice. Utah State looking for more. Centering pass to Higgs goes awry. Oh, I've fallen and I can't get up. Gives it back to the Utah State Aggies. At number five, Sean Irwin kicks it over to the, the near side. And there's a shot on goal. It goes wide. And Jordan Park, or John Park pays for that. Fans looking for a penalty against uh, Colorado. It's going to be an icing penalty against Utah State. They're going to bring it back down to the Utah State end of the ice. The Aggies leading 4-1, 7.58 to go in the first period. Lose that face off, and Colorado able to keep that puck back in the zone. Really can't get a stick on it. Sam Kinney back at center ice, drops it into the Aggie zone. It's a nice centering pass, but he just can't get his stick on it. John Park, number 23, still fighting for it, trying to chase it down and keep it in the Aggie into the ice. There's a glove save. Sandro Mullane in the pipes tonight. Sandro having a pretty good game so far, only allowing one goal. And that on a power play goal. State picks it up on the air and defender, defenders pass. Tries to drop it in front, but that's uh, that's not going to work it. you got to go in there a little harder. Cook gets checked hard against the boards. There's a shot again on Pomerlo. He sends two back. that at that last goal for Utah State 4-1 they brought in uh, number one Mike McGrath in goal so uh, about halfway through this first period they end up pulling their starting goalie I like being a pitcher in baseball once they get under your skin it's over Utah State another icing penalty I think they should make the uh, penalty more severe for icing they just do it a lot. They do it 
They do it mostly to get other guys in, do some line changes and shift changes. Gibbons lining up the face off. The Aggies win the face off. McDonald left the far side waiting for his teammates. Swing and miss on the pass. It's all about timing. Whoa. Up and over goes Gibbons. Oh. There's a little punch thrown out there, but the referees say play on. And Lund didn't like that at all, so he's getting after him. See the adrenaline. Boy, that's what you get. That guy throws a punch, and Gibbons makes him pay for it with a hard check. Boy, that's a slow roller across the front of the goal. Utah State misses an opportunity to put another one on the board. Four fifty-seven to go in the period. Utah State wants to put another one on before the end of this period, and Colorado would sure love to have another one. Four-two deficit would be a lot more pleasing than a five-one deficit if you're Colorado. That's a nice pass, drops it between the between the skates, and then a quick shot on Sandro, but goes wide. Utah State back up the ice. Two Aggies, Basson and. Pepper and going after it. Crowd getting antsy. That's a great shot right there in the corner. A lot of action happens in the corner. Lynn loses the puck, but Hepburn picks it up. Pace of play has slowed dramatically in the last couple of minutes, down to 3.53 to go in the first period. Utah State still leading 4-1. to one. Hepburn by himself. He's not going to get any help as his whole team is switching out, so he's by himself on the Colorado end of the ice. A stoppage in play. They're going to call a penalty. There's your S. Needham Jewelers middle of the block sign of the clock. It's where Northern Utah goes to get engaged. And all of Utah, for that matter, should go to S. Needham Jewelers. They've got tons of experience. Eight million diamond rings. I don't know how many they have. It's a lot. Number 14, Jordan Lochner to the penalty box for Colorado. Utah State on a power play now. 324 to go in the period. Lochner called for roughing. The official goes down on the far side. Gibbons with a slap shot from the top of the zone gets sent back. Utah State has to reset. Colorado brings in some more players. Sanders kicks it over to Gibbons. Gibbons patient, looking for a pass. Gets it over to Billy Guthrow. Another skirmish breaks out in front of the crease. The officials finally see it. Can't see who's involved in that one exactly besides somebody in stripes and somebody in white and somebody in black. Now there's number 21. Jordan Kerr comes out. And he was tired of playing for right now. He's going to take a little break for two of the last 238 of this first period. Probably going to be a roughing penalty. So we're at even strength now.
Take a look at the replay here. You can see McDonald at the top of the key. Top of the key, top of the zone. And then there's a, a little scrum going on in front of the key. Crease. I've been doing too much basketball. Crease, key, zone, whatever. I just like sports. If you like sports, you're probably watching the Valley Channel. Driving an Nissan Sentra, you left your lights on. Going to drop the puck in the Utah State end of the ice with 2:38 to go in this first period. Even strength for the next 101, and then Colorado will have uh, almost a full minute of power play. Shot on goal. McGrath cleans it up. stoppages in play in this first period. Oh. Lim looking for the give and go as he passes in the corner. It's a give and no go. Comes back for Colorado. Pretty deep shot on goal there. Sam Kinney. Colorado now 15 seconds away from full strength. Utah State trying to get it up the ice before they get an extra man back. Still five seconds left in the penalty. Martin with a flat pass across the ice. It can't be picked up by Joel Basson. Or Basson, there's a nice shot on goal and Sandro sends it back, you can hear it hit a stick. Now Colorado on a power play for 40 more seconds. 112 to go in the first period. Colorado drops it in the, in the dump and run category. Just shoot it in and go get it. Seems to be a common strategy for a lot of these ACHJ teams. 57 seconds left in the first period. Colorado would like to make one last go at a goal to bring it to 4-2 to two on the period. Now down 4-1. Flat pass across the crease. Can't be picked up. Utah State gets a hold of it. Number seven, Brian Gibbons. A big part of this team tonight. And the penalty expires for Kerr. Oh, that goes right off the pipe. Aggies avoid the second goal for Colorado, and lucky they did. Sandro was pointed the other way. 17 seconds to go in the first period. The Aggies are going to get an icing call to stop the clock with 12 seconds to go. They'll bring it back, and Colorado will probably get one shot of the goal to end this first period. They would love to do that. Down 4-1. to one. This is a very tough venue to come back on, and you got to take every chance you can get. They had one a second ago. Squeezed its way off the front of the net. Seven seconds. Colorado can't get a clean shot. Can't get their stick on the puck. Utah State doing a great job breaking it up. Time will expire now in the first period. The Aggies leading four goals to one over the Colorado Buffaloes. We're going to take a break and then come back with more Utah State hockey. So stick around. It's fun. It's fabulous. And there's some bites.